Did Retrosoft Studios forget to tell us something about Retromania Wrestling? I wonder what it could be. Hey, what is up you guys? This is Los from the Big Retro Show, and today I am talking about Retro Mania Wrestling once again. Now I know, I know, you guys know my stance on Retro Mania Wrestling and why I dislike it. But there's a reason that I dislike it even more now. And it, no, it has nothing to do with the video I posted about a week ago that basically said that they were cowards by not mentioning anything about the whole Tommy Dreamer uh, Dark Side of the Ring interview that he did, which he basically defended Ric Flair's conduct aboard the uh, plane ride from hell. That's not the reason why I dislike them even more now. The reason that I dislike them even more now is that they quietly, quietly let it pass that they are no longer the sequel to WWF WrestleFest. Now, why is that a big deal? Why is that a big deal? Well, let me tell you, it's a big deal because they were using that to sell their game. And as a matter of fact, everybody was pumped that Retromania Wrestling was the official sequel to WWF WrestleFest. As a matter of fact, the company itself was putting this out. And let me just go ahead to my other screen and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. All right, now, this is a news release that was posted on Retromania Wrestling's website that is no longer available on the website. But I had the foresight to save it. So it says, breaking news, and it's dated November 12th of 2019. Breaking news, Retromania Wrestling is now the official sequel to WrestleFest. Collegeville, Pennsylvania, Retrosoft Studios LLC is excited to announce that Retromania Wrestling, which is set to release in early 2020 for the Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC, is no longer just a spiritual successor to the 1991 arcade classic WrestleFest. By the way, it's WWF WrestleFest, not just WrestleFest. Now it's the official sequel. So this sent us out to every gaming magazine, every gaming website, every YouTuber out there who was interested in this. And they pumped it up. They really pumped it up as a sequel to WrestleFest. Now, as you can see, on the image here, the flyer that they put out. Um, the very bottom, it says the official sequel to the arcade classic WrestleFest. And it's got the WrestleFest logo. Now, I don't doubt that at one time they actually had the rights to call itself the sequel to WrestleFest. And negotiated with, uh, with Technos, who was... The license holder. I don't doubt that at all. And for a time, they could actually call themselves a sequel to WrestleFest. But this is how I think it went down. I think that Retromania Wrestling was using the WWE name to sell this game as a sequel to WrestleFest. And using the intellectual property of WWE. So once WWE saw this, I imagine that they probably sent them a cease and desist letter. And that's when they had to take their channel down and take their website down. Because if you go to their website today, let's just, let's just go ahead and do that. We'll minimize that, minimize this, and here's a sequel uh, well, here's the Retromania Wrestling webpage. And as you can see, if I go to About, it no longer says that it's the official sequel to WWF WrestleFest. You won't find that anywhere on this webpage that it's the sequel. If you go to their YouTube channel as well, all of their videos mentioning that they were the sequel to WWF WrestleFest are gone. And trust me, they made videos out there that specifically said this, that they were the sequel to WrestleFest. 
but they took him down. Now, that in itself isn't a big deal. I know that there's business deals that that go down, and you know, like I said, WWE was probably didn't take it too kindly that they were using their name and intellectual property to market this as a true blue sequel to WWF WrestleFest. I know that they probably got in some issues with that with the copyright holder. And that I mean I don't I don't take issue with that. What I take issue with is that they kept quiet about it. They didn't say a damn thing about it. Nothing on social media, nothing on their website. They just let people continue thinking that they were the sequel to WWF WrestleFest. And let me tell you, there's a lot of people out there who bought this on the premise that this was a true blue sequel to WrestleFest. Now, to me, that's shady. Is that being transparent about your operation? No. And, you know, I understand that they're a, a, a small game developer. They're a small outfit. And that they're going to make mistakes. And that's, you know, everybody makes mistakes. But why not acknowledge it? Why not tell the people that, hey, you're having issues with the copyright. And you can no longer call yourself the sequel to WWF WrestleFest. So I'm disappointed at them for that. And that's why I don't like them even more now. And, you know, I could say that all along I was saying this is not the sequel to WrestleFest. Because I was. I was saying that this wasn't the sequel to WrestleFest. But it had nothing to do with the rights that they had. It was because the roster sucked. And yes, I was you know, I was I was taking it to another level by saying that even though that they had the the rights to call themselves the sequel to WrestleFest, that they weren't in my eyes. And and I still believe that. I still believe that the roster is lacking. It has nowhere or nothing to do with the WWF legend roster. Um, they don't own the IP, so they can't really call themselves a sequel to WWF WrestleFest. And it seems that WWE finally agreed and forced them to stop calling themselves a sequel. But back to that is that they should have told somebody. You can't just keep this news quiet. I mean, do you know how many videos are out there? How many news articles, how many YouTube videos are saying, oh, yes, this is the true blue sequel to uh, WWF WrestleFest. And that's just bullshit. That is bullshit. I'm the only one out there who was saying that it wasn't. And now it looks like, you know, it's been confirmed. It's not the sequel. Not until they sort out their copyright issues, which is not likely. It's not likely that the WWE is going to let them continue using that or let them use that they are the sequel to wwf wrestlefest because they're not they're not but to me that's just it's to stay silent about it man that's just shady that is just shady as fuck you know you guys should know better you know and here's the other thing there's a lot of there's a lot of channels out there a lot of youtubers out there who are calling it the sequel to wwf wrestlefest and some of them some of them were put in the game, you know, I'm talking about like Pat and Ian and everybody else, all the big YouTubers that were in there, you know, nobody is talking about this and it's a, it's misleading. It's an anti-consumer practice, but nobody is talking about it. Everybody's just silent about it. I wonder why could it be because they're in the game? They don't want to rock the boat. You know, I have to say that, Mike, that was pretty smart of you to enlist the help of the big YouTubers and put them in the game because now they're hesitant. You know, they're, they're not going to speak out against the game, even though you're misleading them about being the sequel to WWE, WWF, WWE WrestleFest because they're in the game, you know, and that's just wrong, man. That is just wrong. But this isn't the first time that you guys have stayed silent. See, you guys only speak up when it suits you. You guys were also silent about the whole Tommy Dreamer debacle. His interview on the dark side of the ring made him look like an asshole. You know, he got he was suspended by Impact Wrestling indefinitely. 
He was also suspended by the podcast that he was doing. You know, those companies did the right thing. They spoke out against him because he basically excused Ric Flair's behavior as being nothing. And he was even trying to blame the victim. But have you guys said anything? Have you guys said one word about this? No. No, it doesn't suit you. You guys are cowards, man. You guys are cowards. And you know, I, I was I was over at the uh, Retromania Wrestling YouTube page and I saw them, uh, I saw the panel that they did at, I think it was what, Too Many Games? One of those. I forget which one it was. But everybody was asking them some softball questions. When is a DLC coming out? And that's another thing. You guys promised us DLC. And it's it's not even out yet. You know, we're coming up. It's, it's been over a year and a half since you guys launched the game. And there's nothing there. There's not one thing there. Yeah, so, I mean, if you guys were looking for Matt Mania in Retro Mania Wrestling, now you know why. They lost. They lost that battle. They can no longer call themselves a sequel to WrestleFest. And I'm telling you because they won't tell you. They'll stay silent about it. Anyhow, guys, I want to know. I want to know in the comments. What do you guys think of this situation? Do you think that Retromania Wrestling should be more forthcoming and let people know that they are not the sequel to WrestleFest? You know, what is your opinion about this? I want, I want to see it in the comments. And until the next one, guys, I will see you on the Big Retro Show. Peace! Peace! <laughs>